over here. All right, I'll, uh, I'll start packing up. Now, Javi, you need to hurry. Look, I'm not giving you shit, okay? I'm just... You weren't here when Dad was sick, okay? I get it, but... You need to fucking be here when he goes. I know. All right, I'm just on my way. <sighs> David! It's David, hey! Hey, David. I had to leave my car. It's traffic's just it's backed up for miles. He's dead. No. No. I, I, I tried. You're a piece of shit. You know that? One time. Just the one goddamn time that you needed to be here. Look. Look, I understand you're angry, but please... Angry? Oh, I'm more than angry, Javi. <clears throat> Everyone's here. They've been here for days, and where the fuck were you? <clears throat> we're there, all around him. People who love him, all around him. And he's scared. I'm seeing the panic in his eyes, and he's searching the room. ¿Dónde está Javier? ¿Dónde está mi hijo? I'm there. Right beside him, holding his hand, like a good son. And he doesn't even see me. He doesn't even see me because he's looking for you. You don't think there's a million places we'd rather be? I'm sorry, okay? David, Jesus, I... Sorry isn't bringing him back, you selfish fuck. Uncle Javi? Why, why are you fighting? I could hear you from inside. We were just, uh, talking, Gabriel. Right. Your uncle and I are just having a little chat. Go inside, mijo. We'll be in in a minute. Go on. It's okay. Inside. I should call someone, pick up the body. Yeah. I love you, little brother. You know that, right? With everything going on. I know. You think I was jealous of you? No, I, I don't think anything. Well, I was. For a long time. You've lost more than I'll ever have. But maybe something good can come out of all this. Because we need you here. It's time to grow up. You can't run from this. Not anymore. I know. You're right. I won't even argue. I'll be around more, honestly. You can count, count on, on it, huh? I want to believe that. I do. Javi. Kate. I'm so sorry, Javi. I'm so sorry. Thank you. Let's go inside. Your mom needs you. What happened? Come on. Mama. Where were you? I tried. 
I tried. I'm so sorry. He's gone, mijo. He's gone. <laughs> He's in a better place, mama. No puedo conectarme. Dicen que no hay servicio. You thirsty, baby? You want some juice? Grandpa's cup was empty. You don't have to fill his cup up anymore, baby. Grandpa is sleeping. No, Yaya. Pipo's awake. Soy yo, David. Estás en tu ¿Qué casa, cálmate. Haciendo? Él está loco, él atacó a Héctor. Solamente está confundido. Mamá. We need to get her to the hospital. Well, let me look at it. Let me look at it. Gabriel, where's your sister? <laughs> keys! Where the fuck are the keys? Take that car. Keys are on the dash. <laughs> Mama, get the kids. Meet at the hospital. Don't take the highway. It's blocked. <gasps> Bring the van around. Where's Mori? I, I don't know. Mija. Mariana! From the stars! Mariana, we have to go. Yaya's hurt. Come on, honey. We have to go. No, no, no! 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 It's okay. No! It's okay. County General Hospital. I know the way. Tell me when it reaches the campfire. I think we should probably get going. We will. I just need to know how fast they're moving. Damn it. I left my water bottle. Her just got there. 
Just under four hours. Come on. We should keep moving while the kids are asleep. Yeah. Looks like the herd is speeding up a little. I thought it was drifting southwest, but I'm not sure anymore. Every time I think we should just bed down somewhere and wait for it to pass, I can't shake the thought of us getting caught in the middle of it. It just keeps coming. It's slow, but that almost makes it worse. It'd definitely be nice to stop. We've been on the move a while now. I don't know. It feels risky. Not if we find somewhere secure. We'll figure it out. We always do. Hey, I'm gonna sneak a smoke. I can't believe you found weed. Are you kidding? People were probably growing this before they realized they needed food. All right, just, you know, make it quick. I don't want you waking the kids. Relax. Mariana's got headphones on and Gabe is drooling. I think we're in the clear. You want some? Nah. No thanks. One of us should be... sober. <laughs> Don't judge me. <laughs> oh, when I found out David had kids, I told him... I am not changing who I am around them. <laughs> And when he proposed, I reminded him that I'm not exactly stepmother material. <laughs> Case in point. He was reassuring, but you know, I could tell he was worried about it. I knew he'd try to get me to change. <laughs> or at least he'd hope that being around the kids more would change me, you know? <laughs> he was always stubborn like that. Even when we were kids. He saw the world in a certain way. And he'd try and make you see it that way, too. So that's where Gabe gets it from. I used to talk shit about all those mothers who'd go on about raising their kids being the hardest thing in the world. Oof. Gabe's making me start to think they had a point. <laughs> His mood swings are just... Oh, I don't know. Some days I just want to leave him by the side of the road. <laughs> I'm joking. Jesus, obviously. Look, I love these kids. But I could do without Gabe reminding me I'm not his mother whenever he's pissed. Man, he's a teenager. Puberty. Hormones. The second you start getting boners, the whole world starts to get dark. What are you talking about? It sounds delightful compared to dealing with bloody underwear. <laughs> I realized that was an awkward transition. Sorry about that. Come on, Kate. You know we can't do that. Who said I meant with you? Hmm. Ugh. What's that smell? That's gross. Hey, Mariana, I I think we, we uh, must have hit a skunk or something back there. I already know you guys do drugs. That's a pretty severe way of phrasing it, Mariana. Don't tell Gabe. He's the one who told me. Oh, oh my god. You're even smoking in the car now? All right. Everyone roll the windows down before you all get contact high. We're about to make a supply stop.
want a moment alone, Mari? I'm praying I find a candy bar. <laughs> All right. What do we actually need? Uh, a candy bar. Need, Mariana, not want. Pretty much everything. If it looks useful, let's use it. All right. Well, let's start with some gas and move up from there. <laughs> Where are you going? Okay, that's cool. Have fun. Oh, Jesus. It never ends with him. I hate when they fight like that. I really hate it. It's like all Gabe wants to do is argue. Well, that makes two of us. But we're stuck with him, so... At least you have your headphones. Yeah, but the batteries have been dead for a couple of weeks. I mostly wear them to fool you guys. It's easier to stay out of it that way. Well, when you put it that way, I wish I had a pair too. You can borrow mine if you want. I might just have to do that. Be nice to find some dinner. In a junkyard. You never know. These past four years, people have been hoarding all kinds of shit in all kinds of places. Oh, and Mari, if there's any trouble, you can find one of these cars. Yeah? Lock yourself in and don't come out. Not even once it's quiet. And wait as long as you can. Okay. Good girl. Waste oil. No use to us. Most of the dashboard is torn out, seats are gone. Ah, this thing's dead. Oh, that's gross. Okay, now I'm sorry I did that. You find anything? I can't stop thinking about that herd. We get caught in it, and, and that's it. Peace, asshole. Can't charm your way out of that one. And we'd be gone in seconds. Hey, don't think about that. We're careful, we're smart. We'll stay ahead of them. <sighs> Luck runs out just as easily as gas. There's gonna be a last one, you know? A last tank of gas, last piece of food. What if this place is empty? And and the next? And the next? We're not gonna let that happen. Okay? <sighs> okay. I let it have its five minutes. I'm good. Come to Papa. Barely anything. I'll need to find more. Ugh, I don't think these tires would fit the van. Paint cans, a 
old newspaper. <sighs> All that's left in this junkyard is... junk. <sighs> Nothing up there but garbage. Some sort of fuel tank. Too risky to search up there. Doesn't look stable. Looks like there's more to see up here. Any luck? Some. But not enough. Gabe? Hey, Gabe. Let's go take a look over there. Gabe? Stay close to Javi. Got it? Oh, all right. <gasps> hey, look. There's one they never took to pieces. Good catch. locked all right here goes nothing <laughs> fuck yeah look at all that fuel this is gonna take a while It had some gas. Looks pretty picked over. Looks like it came from in there. Gabe, stay close. Might be able to get in through the hatch. <clears throat> Not gonna be able to pry this open. Damn it. Gabe, come check this out. Not the cleanest place. Oh, no muertos, at least.
just be careful. Are you kidding me? Lucky for you, they put enough preservatives in this stuff to last for centuries. Well, there's enough food in here to keep us going for a long time. Oh, check it out. This is actual honest-to-God pudding. Seriously? And it's not just food. There's a mattress. There's blankets. Someone else's mattress. Someone else's blankets. We need to just take our gas and get on the road. Well, you gotta admit, it's kind of cozy in here. The van is cozy. This is creepy. Come on, one night. We bunk down, eat a real meal. It would be nice not to sleep in the van for a change. Please. The herd is coming if it's not here already. We should go and get ahead of it before it's too late. The fence is reinforced. We'll be fine. We found this. Why can't we just enjoy it? The kids are right. We deserve a little break from the van. Yes! Kids, go wild. Just stay indoors and keep your ears open. <laughs> Just in case. Cool. You can have your own. I don't know how I always end up being the mean stepmom, and you get to be the cool uncle. We should be able to switch roles now and then. Look, it's just a nice break. We get to spend the night with four walls instead of four wheels. And I think we deserve that. Whatever. It's fine. Grab some gas. We're out of here in a few hours. Hey, uh, wait, but you... You're the cool one, remember? She'd expect it from you. What the fuck do you think you're doing with our gas? Go on, speak up! I'm sorry, man. Look, it's just a can. We needed it really we? bad. I fucking knew it. There's more than just you out here. You ain't the loner type. I can tell. I know you got people. Look, don't worry about them. They took off and then they're not coming back. Just up and left you, huh? <laughs> Fan out and look for the others. Lonnie, you're with me. Hey! You assholes in there! I got your boy! You don't want him getting shot, you best come out there careful with your hands up. Go on, you first. You get ambushed by your own people, that shit's gonna make my day. Open it real slowly. Friends had a real feast, huh? You can't just take what you like. Look, we hardly took any. Uh, really, someone must have been here before us. Look, I, I, I get it, all right? You're starving. Who the fuck is it? At the end of your rope, thought you hit pay dirt. Honest mistake. But I got this sneaky fucking feeling <clears throat> that you're full of shit. I ain't gonna let it be like the last time some assholes rolled on us. Keep an eye on this dickhead. I'm gonna grab some cuffs. You got it. 
Just chill, okay? No need to make this any harder. Look, your buddy's not thinking straight. So let's talk, okay? You and me, we, we can get this sorted out. No, it's his call. Look, man, this doesn't have to go. The fuck was that noise? What you got hiding under there, boy? If you know something, you better spill it. Fuck! Guys, get the fuck in here! Holy shit! Hey, my family, where are they? What did you do with my family? Fucking asshole. Just do us both a favor and pretend you're still asleep. I wouldn't start talking if I were you. You're lucky we do things a certain way. I'm already tempted to put a bullet in your brain for what you did to Lonnie back then. If we start talking, I'm gonna get angry. What happened to him was an accident. Yeah, right. Keep talking, we might find ourselves in a similar accident. You get what I'm saying? Please, you have to believe me. We were just... Not another word, or God help me, I'll put you to sleep myself. We still got a haul ahead of us, and I'm not about to listen to you. What the hell? Stop! Stop! Oh, shit! Oh, no! Good. Just keep looking forward. Please. I just... I need help. Well, that's obvious. The way your friend there ran off, I don't think he's likely to come back and save you. Okay. Now don't do anything stupid. Because I'm not as nice as you. I won't hesitate. You're a kid. Well, wait, did you do that? With the tree? I was trying to stop the truck. Oh, shit. What do you need the truck for? To drive. Put your hands up and close your eyes. Look, I'm the victim here. We're all victims. Oh, so it's okay for you to rob me? This is payment for saving you. Hey, that's for my niece. She loves chocolate more than anything. I promised it to her. Please. Keep your eyes closed and count to a hundred before you go. Wait, just... My family. I need to get back to them. We were attacked and I don't... Look, I just need to know where I am. We were driving down the 522 and, and that's when we found the junkyard. They're still there. I need to get back to them. I know where that is. You said you were driving? 
In our van, yeah. I'll take you to the junkyard, if you let me have your van. I get you there in one piece, then I drive away. Yeah, absolutely. You got a deal. Good. Let's go. This really necessary? I don't know you, I don't trust you, and I'm not taking any chances. So it's safer for both of us if you're tied up. Look, I get it. You're being cautious. Glad we understand each other. The name's Javier, by the way. People call me Javi. Clementine. Clementine. Cool name. If you say so. You don't want to talk? Fine. But how about you give me that gun back so I can at least defend myself? For all I'd know, you'd turn around and use it on me. Look, I'm not gonna shoot you. I didn't even shoot the guy who had me tied up. But I know you thought about it. Muertos. The herd caught up with us. What do you call them? Walkers. Well, what do you call the ones that run? They're all fucking walkers, okay? Look, I'm just... I'm not used to being around other people. Not for a while, anyway. Usually, it's just me on my own. Apology accepted. I wasn't apologizing. So... Who's at this junkyard? My brother's kids. And his wife. It's impressive, surviving this long. Not sure how you did it. Just keeping everyone together like that. I did whatever I had to do to protect them. Kept them out of trouble the best I could. Sucks. That sometimes it's not enough. Well, how about you? You must have been pretty young when this shit started. I was. But some people looked out for me, too. What happened to them? Same thing that happens to everyone. Shit. We can't stay here. There's a town up ahead. We can stay there until the herd passes. Otherwise, we're walker food. Can you do that? Please? We can't make a detour. I need to get to my family. And I need that van. But right now, you have to trust me. Oh, you mean the way you trust me? Don't make me regret this. Come on! Get your ass 
damn it, Francine. One of these days, those doors are gonna close, and your ass will be on the other side. <laughs> yeah, and when that day comes, Trip, I promise I'll eat you first. It's Clementine, right? You staying a while this time? No. Once the walkers pass, I'm taking this guy to a junkyard off the highway. My family might be trapped there, hiding from some very bad dudes. Well, shit. I'm truly sorry to hear that. This herd rolled in pretty quick. We're hoping it's gone just as fast. So, just keep your heads down and steer clear of trouble. You got me? There's too much going on outside the walls tonight. We'll be cool. Just need a place to ride out the herd, that's all. All right. I'm gonna hold you to that. And I wouldn't recommend changing your mind. If you want to hang on to all your teeth, that is. Now head on in. I got shit to do. Well, welcome to Prescott. It's a pretty cool place, actually. Built from an old airstrip, I guess. The people, on the other hand, they're not my favorite. Usually I'm in and out as quick as I can manage. Not exactly an option this time, though. No, no, this place is actually kind of charming. It's got walls all the way around, and, well, that thing. Yeah, like I said, this is a pretty cool place. Hey, Javi. What's... what's up? My family... they're still out there. If you guys made it this long, I I'm sure you know... they'll know what to do. Hopefully. Let's go. This way. I gotta see a guy about some bullets. Jeez. I haven't been in a place like this since... Well, you know... It's just like the old days. Listen, I gotta take care of something. Hang tight. Well, wait, wait. What should I do? I don't know. Why don't you make some friends? Excuse me. Oh, you again. <laughs> you got some moves, I'll give you that. Hold on a minute. Don't I note you from somewhere? I don't know. Maybe. Garcia. Javier Garcia. For what it's worth, I think you got screwed on the gambling thing. A lifetime ban. Shit. Should have had a 20-year career. The way I see it. Nothing wrong with betting on yourself to win. <laughs> and that got a lifetime ban? Honestly, I don't even think about it anymore. The past is the past. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, I'm Conrad. This here's Francine. He runs the place? I just take his money. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe I'm just letting you win. Oh, actually, if you're the gambling type, game's poker. Five card stud. I'll raise you. What do you think? Should I call, or should I fold? Hmm, don't get too intimidated. I lose more often than I care to admit. He's bluffing. He's got bullshit written all over. <laughs> Is that a fact? All right, I think I'll listen to the man. Call. Moment of truth. Flip him. Oh my. Ain't that a pretty sight. Good looking hand there, but not good looking enough. God damn it. Shit, sorry. And thanks for playing. Let me get you a drink for the assist. On the house. Bottoms up. Wow, man, this smells like turpentine. <laughs> That's the weak stuff. Don't turn away from me. I'm talking to you. Oh, shit. Hey, what's the point of talking when I already told you a deal is a deal? And it's done. What's going on? This guy ripped me off. 
I traded him a crate of perfectly good batteries, and he gave me a box of bullets that won't fire. He could have gotten both of us killed. Oh, yeah? And who the fuck are you, a bodyguard or something? Because I don't scare easy, all right? Damn right. So you better figure out a way to fix this. And I mean real fast. Uh, well, you can't even prove those are the bullets I traded you. Oh, hey, Clem, come on. He knows the bullets don't work. Listen to him. He's not even nervous. I could have died because of his bullets. Unfucking believable. Look out! Hey, listen. Let's all cool down, huh? You were acting crazy, I was too. We just got a little out of hand. That's all. Just give me what I'm owed. Jesus. You gotta get her under control, man. This ain't no way to do business. We had a deal. All right, hey, okay, all right, so, hey, we'll, we'll trade back. I'll find some batteries. I don't need batteries. What I need are bullets that won't get me killed. Oh no. Drop the gun! Right now! Say he attacked you and that he was going for his gun. I fucking warned you! Eli attacked him. I only shot because. Shut it! You done enough talking. Drop it. There's a herd out there and you're firing off a fucking. What the fuck happened here? He attacked Javi, okay? It was self defense. Enough from you. Did she really have to shoot? Look at my eye, man. Of course she's telling the truth. The guy ripped her off, reached for his gun, and would have shot me if she hadn't stopped him. See? You happy now? <sighs> God damn it. I'm putting you two under lock and key until I figure out what to do with Whoa. you. Oh, hey, what? Are you for real? As real as it gets. Now move it. Got some nerve coming in and fucking up my bar. I oughta punch your fucking lights out. Both of ya. But Eli was a grade-A certified dipshit. I'll even have someone come take a look at that cut. Hey. Thanks for having my back at the hangar. That was, um... That was cool of you. Of course. Anytime. I mean, you and I are a team now. Thanks. I mean it. Just don't think this makes us friends or anything. Hello? I'm Eleanor. I'm what passes for a doctor around here. The trip sort of overdoes it sometimes. I hate that I'm treating you in a cage, like you're some feral animal. Javier, pleasure's all mine. Is it now? Now. Let's see about that wound. Yeah, he got you good. Try to hold still. <clears throat> Why is it always the pretty ones who end up causing the most trouble? As if good looks equal bad behavior or something. Yeah. Well, it takes one to know one. One what? One pretty troublemaker. <laughs> I'll give you that one. People are saying she killed a man in cold blood. If you don't mind me asking, what did happen exactly? That they were arguing and that she went crazy over nothing? Look, things got out of hand. Clementine was only trying to make a point, but then... You make it sound so casual. Best thing is probably for you two to leave town. And get back to your group. We were attacked earlier this evening. There were four of us. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. If there's... If there's anything I can do to help. Well, not that I have much to offer you, but... If you really want to help me, let us out of this cage. Eleanor? You done yet? Just about. 
All right, here's what we're gonna do. I'm driving you that junkyard myself. Get you out of my hair, and no one can say I didn't do right by no one. In the meantime, you two can sleep right here and think about what shitheads you were earlier. On my terms and on my timeline. You got me? Nah, no way. I need to get back on the road ASAP. Javier, I am not negotiating here. Trip, it doesn't seem right to wait. Javi's people, they can need a medic. No, -uh, no way. Not putting you in that kind of danger again. That's not your call. Look, maybe there's another way. We've got a rear gate down at the other end of the airfield. We don't use it much, but, well, we could leave tonight. Slip past the herd, get a jump start on reaching that junkyard. What? Seriously? When you do that for me. It's just, it's the right thing to do. Anyway, think about it. I've got to check on some patients, but I'll be back in an hour. You know, I never would have guessed she had it in her. Yeah, she's, she's something. The thing is, is, and maybe this sounds weird, but I still trust Trip more than I trust her. We're leaving tonight, with Eleanor. If it gets us there even a minute sooner, it's worth it. All right, I'm in. You know, when I met you, I thought you'd just be another asshole like everyone else. And to think that when we first met, you nearly blew my head off. <laughs> yeah, guess I made the right call. It sounds like Eleanor will be a little while. Maybe we should get a few winks. Good idea. I'm exhausted. I'll get the lamp. That's good. Getting into first gear is the hardest part. Now, just stay on the road. <laughs> Most important rule there is. Now, let's try shifting into second. Not bad at all, especially for a first time. You just gotta ease up off the clutch a little smoother, all right? You don't have to make the switch all at once. I want to do it again. You will. And next time, just be gentle. And once we get down to Florida, we'll ditch the wheels and I'll make a sailor out of you. Mark my words. You too, buddy. I just can't get him to talk. It's unusual for his age. Well, the heater's broken. He's cold. Only makes sense to head for Florida sooner than later. Leave all this snow behind, right? Be like summer every day. Yeah, no kidding. It's freezing outside. The sooner the better, for sure. No more winters ever again, Clem. I'll teach AJ to fish, how to swim. We'll watch the sunrise every morning. All three of us. But we ain't getting nowhere doing 25 miles an hour. Shift her into third. Let's get her really cooking. Well, there you go, Clem. Time we get to Florida, you'll be a better driver than me. Proud of you, Clem. Hey, I really appreciate you teaching me. You know, I, I always dreamed about the day I'd teach Duck to drive. You're the best second chance I could ask for. Where's your blanket, goofball? I swear this kid never makes a peep. Who knows how long he's gone without a blanket. The duck was gabbing a mile a minute at his age. Wasn't full sentences, but it was something. There's nothing wrong with AJ. He'll talk when he's ready. I know. Just a bit odd for a child his age. Then again, Albert Einstein didn't talk till he was four, and look how he turned out. 
Crap! I got it. Turn the wheel. Don't. Okay. Shit. Help me up. I don't. I don't feel anything. Th that's good. No, Clem. I don't feel anything. I can't feel my legs. I just can't get up. Oh my god, no, this isn't happening! This isn't happening! Uh, let me try again. Shit! Shit! Hey! Hey! Stay away from him! You gotta go help AJ Clem. I ain't letting you watch those fuckers chew me up. No, I won't give up on you! No. Clementine, no! There's no point! Come on, Kenny, help me! Not today, you son of a bitch! Go! Don't look back! <laughs> AJ, come on! <laughs> <laughs> 